hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see what is scaffold command and what is the purpose and in case you missed previous discussion about how to configure Odoo 17 in PyCharm, please check editor level playlist i already explained and if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablens channel in the home screen you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial is here and this is the main playlist Odoo 17 development tutorial and if you want to learn more about Odoo with the older version of the Odoo please check this Odoo development and here you can see different apps of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases so let's back to our main topic like what is scaffold command and how we can use so first thing is let's say you want to create a new module right something like this account account check printer like this you can also create the new module using the scaffold command so this is the purpose of this scaffold command and how you can use right so right so first thing is in the terminal here I'm using Odoo Dask bin scaffold. This command name we have to add, and after that we can just use here the student as a new module that we, which we have to create. Right? You can see here the successfully created. Right? Now you can go to here, and you can see the in the current directory you can see the student module is created now you can see here it's created the main manifest file init file the view security models demo and controllers let's open this models.py file here you can see it's created a dummy clash which is the student which we mentioned in the scaffold terminal right this so this is actually it's create a new module plus it's also create a dummy model name let's say in future you want to use right you want to continue this model name you can just uncomment this code and you can directly use this one in case you don't want to use this model name that is also fine right I leave as uncomment and you can try to add your different models here or actually you can delete this code here in this init file in the models you can see this it's registered automatically this models.py file right and here if you open this view file you can see here uh, the tree view windows action server action and menus created right if you are a beginner and you don't know what it is right don't worry in upcoming session you will understand everything in the controller part you can see it's created also controller but it's in a command stat right one two and three three controller created and the same controller they are using this same these templates if you are already aware about older versions it would be good because in from the version 15 let's say when you create a new model right so we have to provide the permission to the specific group otherwise no any single user will access this model okay so for that like Odoo also created this access csv file and here you can see the manifest file also created with the required keys what is manifest file don't worry in our upcoming session i will explain everything okay so this is the structure of the student module created by the scaffold command right now let's see one more thing you can also use like this or do task b scaffold and let's say the school that is also fine and once you go to here in the editor you can see here the school module also created similar it's also created all the same same file right the only the model name is based on the what you provide in the after the scaffold as a mod, module name here one more thing is you can use python odoo dash bean scaffold and help you can use like this or h okay so you can use like h e l p right now we already aware about this name right so name of the module name like which we want to create right we can use here another thing is the destination so in the destination let's say where this module you have to create right so in by default it's in the current directory if you see here the student module 
sorry the school module we created right but in the current directory let's say you want to create in a different directory then you can also use like let's say, let me create one more directory custom add-ons now i want to create a school module let's say or let's say the new module inside the custom underscore add-ons so we can just use here like this school underscore student but here let's say in the custom underscore add-ons inside this module sorry this directory once i will click to press if i'm going to the pycharm editor right you can see here this custom add-ons and under you can see this module is created right and this is this we already used a, a minus h or dash dash help both are the same here minus t template and dash dash template right so this option you can also use so let's say you want to copy the full structure from your existing add-ons right so existing add-ons you can see here or let's say inside this odoo you can see like this right you can also copy the same skeleton of that existing module and it will also create a new module here so let's say clear everything let's say scaffold i will use here let's say minus t let's say the school right we which we created i want to copy the same module the skeleton let's say copy school so this is my new module minus t or let's say dash dash template you can use after the template name so template name means the module name okay here this is your new module name space and where you want to add this module so in our case i'm trying to add in the current directory you can see it successfully created right here you can see this copy school is there and you can see the same school module it just copy and uh, rename this module name as a copy underscore school so that is the main purpose of this template let's say another thing is if you are using the existing community add-ons right let's say under the add-ons cell right i want to use that module but let's say copy underscore cell as a new module name once you enter you can see you will might be there is a also chance you will get errors like this right so what happened like odoo automatically not convert everything each and every piece of line of code from this module to create a, this module right so you will it will automatically throw such exception so that is fine it is normal so here you can see still it's created a new module as a copy underscore cell only the thing is whatsoever the command already done the specific files it's automatically available here you can see this readme file this manifest file this init file right you can see here all these are the directories names and you can see here this security and the populate this folders is available here so this is the main purpose of this minus t right so i hope you understood this scaffold command what is the purpose and how to use let's say if you have any doubt in this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to add a new module in the app store here all right so see you in our next session